It's not a milestone of aviation that's going into the history books, but it is the first time a cell phone has flown to the edge of space, so anyone could send it a text message and see their face on the screen. It's Samsung's unique way of promoting their Galaxy smartphone in front of a world audience. Success or failure all depended on a small aerospace company in the Sacramento area. It was the most technically complex thing we've ever done. The balloon launch played live on screens at a concert in Tokyo. The first message was from a Japanese movie star. An onboard camera broadcast the faces and messages live over the internet. Messages from around the world beamed to a cell phone floating high above the earth. But then the flight went really smooth. We had really great video. We were sending the images up to the phone that all went really well. And we made it to 98,000 feet. It's not the highest a balloon has ever flown, but thousands can say, that's my face on the edge of space. The balloon burst and parachuted back to Earth with high-definition video of the flight that'll be posted on the Internet. JP Aerospace is test flying a vehicle that can float to the edge of space and be steered by remote control. It could put high-def cameras over a hurricane or a terrorist training camp. Floating a cell phone to space will pay some of the bills to help get that next project off the ground. On Nevada's Black Rock Desert, Dale Shornack, News 10.